in this video we discuss section 21 uh, this is the first theorem in this theorem we discuss cauchy riemann equation this theorem uh, this theorem uh, explains a necessary condition for differentiation uh, suppose that in this f of z is equal to u plus iv and that f dash is at exist at a point z not equal to x not plus i y not uh, in the uh, domain of the definition of this function then first order partial derivatives of u and v must exist u and v are the components of this f of z then first derivative uh, first partial derivative first order partial derivatives of these functions these components uh, should exist at x naught y naught this is one of the necessary conditions and uh, they must satisfy the cauchy riemann equation uh, that is uh, denoted as uh, this ux equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx and in that case uh, we write the derivative of f dash is at naught is equal to derivative of f of z at z equal to z naught that is termed as uh, f dash is at naught that is equal to u of x sorry ux plus i times vx in fact this is uh, dou u by dou x at the point x equal to x naught y equal to y naught plus i times this is dou v by dou x at x equal to x naught uh, comma y equal to y naught so this is the meaning of uh, this uh, equation f dash is at naught is equal to ux plus i v x naught however this is what we call cauchy riemann equations okay so this is our uh, cauchy riemann equation and now we prove this in order to prove this uh, equations or derive this equation we first of all assume that f dash is a naught exist okay uh, where this f of z is equal to uh, u of xy plus i times v of xy and that z is equal to x plus i y consequently delta z is equal to delta x plus i times delta y okay. so we write uh, by definition f dash of uh, z naught is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 f of uh, z naught plus delta z minus f of z naught divided by uh, delta z naught delta z okay delta z in fact uh, since this delta z is equal to x plus i y uh, delta z is equal to delta x plus delta i y and f is equal to u plus i v we uh, translate uh, this limit uh, in terms of x and y okay one thing we should remember is uh, f dash z not exist means this f is differentiable at z not that means the right hand limit this limit is at right, uh, the limit at the right hand side that is limit is delta z tends to 0 uh, f of z not plus delta z minus f of z not divided by delta z exist that means when uh, whenever this delta z tends to 0 in any path in any manner uh, this limit exists okay so we will discuss uh, two different paths or two typical paths in which this limit exists okay so we write this uh, first of all we write uh, we translate this uh, to uh, x and y terms for that we assume uh, we have assumed that is z equal to x plus i y then z naught is equal to x naught plus i y naught and we write z naught plus delta z delta z is this thing so z naught plus delta z will be sum of these two okay so that will be x plus x naught plus i times y plus y naught sorry delta uh, x plus x naught and uh, we write this in the next line we write this as the sum as this is z naught and z is this then delta z will be delta z is equal to delta x plus i times delta y and add these two things we will get uh, uh, x naught plus delta x plus i times is the real part of this sum and 
y naught plus delta y. So this is the imaginary part of this thing. Okay. So uh, f of this quantity will be uh, f can be written as uh, u of u of x naught plus delta x comma uh, y naught plus delta y uh, plus i times since f is u plus iv then this is u of this and v of the same thing x naught plus delta x comma y naught plus delta y so this is our uh, f right now uh, f of z naught plus delta z right now so we write this as u of uh, x naught plus delta x comma y naught plus delta y okay plus i times v of the same thing v of x naught plus this and minus we have f of uh, z naught f of z naught can be written as u of x naught y naught plus i times v of x naught y naught whole divided by delta z delta z is delta x plus i times delta y okay so uh, this is the uh, this uh, quotient difference and we have to take limit uh, uh, instead of taking delta z tends to 0 uh, we take delta x tends to 0 as well as delta y tends to 0 simultaneously okay so this is the uh, translation of this limit to uh, x and y times okay now uh, we uh, substitute or we put delta omega is equal to the numerator of this that is f of z naught plus uh, delta z minus f of z naught and we can write this is in the xy term as uh, u of x naught delta x comma del x naught plus delta x comma uh, y naught plus delta y minus sorry plus i times v of x naught plus delta x comma y naught plus delta y and minus u of x naught y naught plus i times v of x naught y naught so this is for f of z naught okay this is uh, f of this quantity minus f of z naught so this is our numerator and whole divided by the denominator that is delta x uh, plus i times delta y so this is for uh, delta z so we write delta omega by delta z in this in this manner okay this is delta z uh, now uh, we need to take the limit of uh, this uh, equation limit is delta z tends to 0 uh, this can be written as delta omega by delta z so we need to take the limit delta x tends to 0 delta y tends to 0 uh, this quantity delta omega by delta z so this is in fact our uh, f dash of z naught okay, in order to evaluate this limit uh, we evaluate or we use this expression Okay. But uh, as we consider uh, this limit uh, exists for uh, for uh, through any path, we can write this uh, limit limit delta x tends to zero uh, by considering the path real axis in which this delta y equal to zero. Then we need not worry about the delta y. So delta this limit becomes delta x tends to zero. Uh, this u of uh, x naught uh, plus delta x and y naught because delta y is zero in uh, real axis so this is our the first part plus i times v of x naught plus delta x comma again y naught because delta y equal to zero uh, minus of uh, u of x naught uh, y naught plus i times v of x naught y naught only y is 0 y naught is a fixed uh, complex number so that now will be 0 uh, whole divided by delta x because this delta y is 0 uh, so this limit can be uh, reduced as this uh, if we consider delta z tends to 0 along along real x okay uh, if delta z tends to 0 along real axis then this limit will be this okay so in order to evaluate 
this limit we will evaluate uh, the limit of the real part and evaluate the limit of uh, imaginary part so uh, we can say that f dash is a naught from this equation that will be uh, limit delta x tends to zero uh, we can uh, split this denominator uh, then uh, by grouping real and imaginary uh, parts of the numerator so this will be a u of x naught plus delta x comma y naught and from this you can write minus u of x naught y naught these are the uh, real part of the numerator all divided by we can put it as delta x as common uh, plus i times again limit delta x tends to zero we can collect that uh, imaginary part that is v of x naught plus delta x comma y naught minus v of x naught y naught divided by delta x okay now we can uh, write this f dash is a naught f dash uh, is a naught is equal to uh, this is going to be uh, the de partial derivative of u with respect to x at x naught y naught so this will be dou u by uh, dou x at the point x naught y naught plus i times this is partial derivative of v with respect to x at the point x naught y naught so this is written as u x of x naught y naught plus and this is i times v x of x naught y naught Okay, so if we consider the real axis or uh, the limit delta z tends to zero along real axis, uh, we will get the derivative of f at z naught is equal to this. Uh, in the similar fashion, if we consider the same limit delta z tends to zero along imaginary axis, okay? along imaginary axis, along imaginary axis, we will have a delta x equal to zero because uh, there is no x component for the complex numbers. Lie on imaginary axis. So this f dash of z naught uh, becomes a limit delta y tends to zero rather than delta x tends to zero. And uh, instead of writing uh, x naught plus delta x, we write x naught comma y plus delta y, y naught plus delta y because uh, this uh, delta z tends to zero along imaginary axis. So this delta x equal to zero at that point and we have u of this remain same x naught y naught uh, plus uh, we have delta x here sorry delta y here instead of or i times i times delta y here uh, because we know that delta z is equal to this delta x plus i times delta y along imagine x delta x will be zero then i times delta y will be there so we write uh, this is equal to i times uh, uh, this divided by i times delta y and uh, uh, for the imaginary part we have limit uh, delta y i times limit delta y tends to zero again uh, we will have the same thing v of uh, x naught comma y naught plus delta y minus v of x naught y naught whole divided by i times delta y from this you can cancel this y and this i can be put it as minus i in the numerator okay uh, by uh, multiplying uh, i on uh, numerator and denominator okay now uh, we write so we can put it minus i here so minus i minus i times this uh, now you uh, collect the uh, real and imaginary part from this expression so that will be delta y tends to zero delta y tends to zero uh, so this is the imaginary part all right we can uh, write minus i times this uh, u of uh, x naught comma y naught plus delta y minus u of x naught y naught divided by delta y and this is going to be the derivative of u with respect to y uh, plus this is uh, uh, in fact this is the real part of this complex number so that will be limit delta y tends to zero v of x naught comma y naught plus delta y minus v of x naught y naught divided by delta y 
okay so from uh, this expression we will get uh, same f dash is a not uh, in terms of uh, uh, u and v so this will be uh, the real part this will be going uh, this is nothing but a do v by do y this is the derivative with respect to y at the point x naught y naught okay this is the real part plus or minus i times minus i times this thing so this is going to be do u by do y at the point x naught y naught okay and we write this is u y with respect to so sorry v y with respect to so this we write v y with respect to derivative of u with respect to y at x naught y naught and minus or plus minus i times plus minus i times uh, or you can write as uh, i times minus of this okay minus of this is uh, u y at the point x naught y naught so this is the uh, f dash is a f dash is a naught uh, obtained by the other way now we can equate this and this both represent same f dash is a naught so once you write uh, by once you equate these two uh, the real part of this will be same as real part of this from this you can write u x equal to v y and by equating the imaginary part you will get v x equal to minus u y okay so uh, for the conclusion we write uh, the cr equation says uh, i'll write uh, that one more uh, we will write this uh, yeah the first expression that is ux plus ivx okay. so from the first equation we write f dash of x are not equal to uh, ux x naught y naught plus i times v uh, x x naught y naught and from the second equation the same f dash is a naught is equal to uh, v y at x naught y naught plus uh, i times minus u y at x naught y naught okay so now equate then we will get u x equal to v y and uh, by equating the imaginary part v x equal to minus u y this is what we call uh, cauchy riemann equations this, this can be considered as the uh, necessary condition for the uh, derivative of uh, or existence of derivative of f is equal to is or not in fact you can use either of these uh, equations uh, for representing f dash is or not either you can use uh, f dash is at f dash is or not is equal to ux plus ivx or the same f dash is or not can be written as uh, vy uh, minus i times u y okay so these are two uh, equations for expressing f dash of is a noun so this proves uh, a necessary condition this is a very important condition uh, so please go through it uh, and uh, after that uh, there, there are some examples are discussed in the textbook so please go through it in the next uh, video we will discuss uh, section 22 that is the sufficient condition for differentiability uh, whereas this is the necessary condition for differentiability.